So how do we actually do factor addition in terms of mathematics? Well, if we would like to compute the sum of a plus b, and a is defined as this ordered pair ax and ay, and b is this ordered pair bx and by, it's helpful again to think about our coordinate system. So here might be the xy plane. And A might look like this. And B might look like that. This length right here is equal to AX. This length right here is equal to AY. This length right here is BX. And this length right here is BY. So we're looking for a new vector, C, such that it would be the sum of A plus B. And how do we compute the coordinates of C? Because remember, if we every time we can find an XY pair, then um, it specifies this new vector. Well. Cx, if you can just look at what must be the projection of C down the x-axis, it's none other than Ax plus Bx, and Cy is Ay plus By. And the length of C, where it's the absolute value of C with the arrow in it, is equal to the square root of Cx squared plus Cy squared. So all of this information can be found from the original components Ax, Ay, bx, by, and then we can learn everything we need to know about the vector sum. It's important as we think about doing these kinds of additions that sometimes vector components can be less than zero. So this is the y direction, this is the x direction. Suppose my vector is A, and it looks like that. AY is right here, but AX is over here. Along the x-axis, that's AX, and it's in the negative x direction. I thought of another way. This angle phi is more than 90 degrees. And so when I go and compute Ax, which is the magnitude of A, times the cosine of phi, that's going to be less than zero. And in this case, Ax, Ay, excuse me, which is A times the sine of phi, would be greater than zero. It's also possible to have this vector point down here in the third quadrant. So this is first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant. Over here in the third quadrant, both x and y components are negative. 